Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. In this video I'm gonna pre-assemble the E3D V6 hot end. You can also follow the manual, well I will put a link in the description where you can follow the wiki on assembling this hot end for your 3D printer. So first take your thermistor be very gentle with it it's glass so it breaks take your heat resisting sleeve cut it in the middle now take the ends and splice them open a little so you get a grip on them and then just slide your sleeve over it all the way against the thermistor because yeah these wires cannot touch in this heater block because you will get false readings Next you want to make a 90 degree bend like 5 millimeters away from the legs Make sure all the wires are still sleeved and not showing Next take your heater block and insert it very easy make sure it's positioned make sure it just sits right and that no wires are touching in in this block now your thermistor sits nice in the heater block next you want to take your washer and a little screw and make sure the sharp edges are on the top side so you don't cut into the wires so and then slowly make sure you have the wires like this now the thermistor is in we can connect a cable to these ends there are some ways to do it but I'm just gonna solder it just bend these ends and then just solder it to the cable they use these little things to connect the cable to each other but what I like to do is use these little things if I can get them on to put on the wire and to make sure that the wire doesn't move and then just
your thermistor is ready you can take your nozzle and screw that one in all the way and then a half turn back take your heat brake screw it in on the other side and tighten it next I take some old thermal grease and apply it to this side of the heat brake because this side needs to be cooled with the heat shrink heat heat shrink heat sink that looks enough to me <laughs> next take your heat sink and screw it on next on the list we can insert our heater block equally spread like yeah this should be good and then just tighten it down and then you can carefully bend these to the top so what's still here to do is I have this little insert for the tubing so what you want to do is just plug it in and you can place your tubing all the way through the only thing is with a 1.7 you have to check if it goes all the way through because it needs to you see it's stuck there so I have to push it through make sure it's in here and then move it back up and screw it down last thing we need to do is take this plastic molded part and attach our fan label on the inside And now you can just take your hot end, make sure you don't touch these or and just clip it on. 
now, stupid wires, why is it close? Like so. <coughs> the hot end is now ready and completely assembled. Except for the wire mess, but that will be cleaned up later on. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And till next time.